China's rapid naval modernization has placed it at the forefront of global maritime power, with a Type 055 destroyer standing as a testament to its growing ambitions. Known as the run high class in NATO terminology, the Type 055 is the largest and most advanced surface combatant ever deployed by the People's Liberation Army Navy plan. This sophisticated vessel plays a critical role in reshaping regional security dynamics, particularly in the Indo-Pacific region, and is challenging the maritime dominance of U.S. and Allied forces. The Type 055's sheer size and technical sophistication set it apart as a formidable force on the seas. With an estimated full load displacement of 12,000 to 13,000 tons, it surpasses the U.S. Navy's Arleigh Burke-class destroyers and rivals the Ticonderoga-class cruisers. This impressive size allows the ship to incorporate cutting-edge technology, making it a formidable sensor and command hub in complex naval operations. One of its standout features is the dual-band radar system, which enhances its ability to detect stealth targets and track multiple threats simultaneously. The radar system is supported by an advanced active electronically scanned array, AESA radar, and an extensive electronic warfare suite, positioning the Type 055 as a highly capable vessel in modern naval combat. This technological backbone enables it to provide early detection and improve situational awareness in crowded and contested maritime environments. The Type 055 is equipped with 112 Vertical Launch System, VLS, cells that house a combination of long-range land attack cruise missiles, anti-ship missiles, surface-to-air missiles, and anti-submarine warfare weapons. This broad spectrum of armament allows the destroyer to fulfill a variety of roles, from offensive strikes against distant targets to defensive operations protecting Chinese assets at sea. The ability to carry such a wide array of missiles significantly enhances the Type 055's flexibility, making it an ideal component of a modern naval force. Despite its large size, the Type 055 is capable of achieving speeds exceeding 30 knots, thanks to its gas turbine propulsion system. This ensures the vessel remains agile and capable of rapidly responding to emerging threats, despite its weight and size. Strategically, the Type 055 is at the heart of China's naval ambitions, playing a central role in the People's Liberation Army Navy plan. As part of China's carrier strike groups, the Type 055 serves as a powerful escort to aircraft carriers like the Liaoning and Shandong, providing a formidable air defense umbrella. This role is critical for protecting China's carriers from airborne threats, ensuring that the plan can project its power across the Indo-Pacific. Moreover, the Type 055 is integral to China's anti-access slash area denial, a 2 slash AD strategy, a doctrine aimed at preventing adversary forces from operating freely in contested waters such as the South China Sea. The ship's long-range strike capability and extensive sensor suite enhance China's ability to assert control over strategic maritime territories and challenge the influence of the U.S. and its allies in the region. The emergence of the Type 055 presents significant challenges to U.S. and allied forces in the Indo-Pacific. Its advanced air defense systems, along with its capacity for precision-guided strikes, make it a formidable adversary. The ship's capabilities are particularly concerning for U.S. carrier strike groups and allied forces operating in critical choke points like the Taiwan Strait and the Malacca Strait, where the balance of power could be dramatically altered. Additionally, the Type 055's advanced electronic warfare and cyber capabilities pose a direct threat to the communications and sensor networks of rival forces. This aspect of the ship's capabilities could disrupt the operational effectiveness of adversary fleets, giving China a strategic advantage in potential naval confrontations. The rise of the Type 055 is accelerating the naval arms race in the Indo-Pacific. Nations like Japan, South Korea, and Australia, all closely monitoring China's growing naval capabilities, have already begun to bolster their own maritime forces. Japan, for instance, is expanding its fleet of advanced Aegis destroyers in response to the increasing threat posed by the plan. The presence of the Type 055 in China's fleet is thus shaping defense policies across the region, prompting a shift toward more advanced and capable naval platforms among U.S. allies. In response to the growing capabilities of the plan, particularly the Type 055, the U.S. and its allies are adapting their naval strategies. One key focus is distributed lethality, which involves leveraging smaller, more agile platforms and unmanned systems to counter the plan's advantage in firepower and size. The integration of these platforms with larger naval forces aims to create a flexible multi-layered defense strategy that can neutralize the Type 055 strengths. Furthermore, the emergence of such a formidable adversary underscores the need for enhanced joint operations and interoperability among allied navies. 
In the face of increasingly advanced threats, maintaining a technological and tactical edge through cooperation and innovation will be vital. The Type 055 destroyer is much more than just a military asset for China. It symbolizes the country's growing naval power and its determination to reshape the security dynamics of the Indo-Pacific region. With its impressive technological capabilities and strategic role in China's naval doctrine, the Type 055 stands as a key tool in Beijing's efforts to assert dominance over disputed maritime territories and project power beyond its borders. For the U.S. and its allies, countering the rise of such advanced platforms will require innovation, resilience, and a commitment to preserving stability in one of the world's most strategically vital regions. The Type 055 is a reminder that the future of naval power will be shaped by both technological advancements and the ability to adapt to the evolving security landscape. Thank you.